Your first unit kind of struggled. How much did you need that boost from the second unit, especially to start the fourth quarter? No, it was huge, you know. Um, it was a strange game. Like, at halftime, both teams were shooting 60%, you know. And one of the things we said, the first team that played any defense in the second half was going to win the game. And I thought our guys did that. I thought we were more physical in the second half. Uh, but I thought the bench changed the game. You know, when they came in just with their energy, uh, and they did it on the defensive end. And then, you know, they got in transition and we got layups. I thought Sam uh, attacking the basket was good. Lou's good every night, you know, just the way he plays. Uh, you know, and CJ was, he was a starter, but he was, he was phenomenal tonight. So every night, like, you don't know who it's going to be on our team. You know, it's going to be Blake and Lou offensively. But then there's always one or two other guys every night, or, you know, or Blake, Lou, and Austin, those three. But, then you throw in Sam tonight, or you throw in CJ tonight. Uh, just so many contributions from our team. It's, it's really nice. I thought Willie, who hasn't played at all, uh, comes in the game and gave us a big lift tonight. Uh, what makes them so tough, Memphis, and what was it that allowed you guys to get by them tonight? Well, they're physical. Uh, they're big. I think um, they're one of the bigger teams that, that you face. And I, I don't mean just at the four and the five, because they're really not that big at the four. They're big at the one, two, and the three. And, uh, you know, they get in the paint, and because of their size, they just create havoc on us. And uh, I thought we did a better job of keeping them out of the paint in the second half. So Memphis went on that 22-5 run in that third quarter. Yeah. And you put Sin in, and he was in there for pretty much that whole 15-0 yeah. run that gave you all back control of the game. And I know Sin's had some inconsistent playing time over the last couple of weeks. I don't think he played in the – last Memphis game. Uh, what, did, what did you see from him tonight, and how is he able to change? You know, it's one of those nights from a coaching standpoint, you're just searching. You know, you're looking for energy. Um, you know, you knew that, you know, the bench makes you hungry. There's, there's no doubt about that. And you knew if you brought Sid in, I didn't know if he was going to play well or not. I knew he was going to play hard. Uh, the fact that he played hard and well was a bonus for us. Uh, he's a tough kid. That's the one thing we identified with him early. And in a physical, tough game where there's a lot of grabbing and holding and pushing. Uh, I thought the game was made for some dairies. Doc, Tyreek had, I think, 30 points and six threes last time you guys played them. He had just one tonight and finished with 18 points. What did you guys do differently or was it more physical? We trapped more. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just decided, um, you know, he's a three-point shooter and, and, and you got to play him that way. I think the league is slow on adjustments sometimes when players were not shooters and then they become shooters. Uh, I think the players still don't believe, you know, and when we watch the film, like, half his threes the, the, the last time we played him should have been guarded, but you could just see our guys, well, he's not, a, he's not that great of a shooter. And, and he makes them. And I thought tonight they gave him the proper respect uh, that he deserved, and I thought it, it helped us defensively. Uh, Doug, what is your defense, as far as your defense, what do you guys need to work to get it more consistent? Well, to, our defense has been really good over the last two, three weeks. Uh, I still think dribble penetration hurts all defenses. And uh, the more you can keep the ball out of the paint, the less DJ and Blake have to help, the better you become a rebounding team. Uh, so it's all tied together. And I think the better we do that, the better defensive team we are. Hey, Doc, you mentioned that Memphis is a big team and you wanted to switch things up tonight. Is that why Willie got more PT? Yeah, I just uh, – they were bringing Gasol in uh, – to play against the second unit. Uh, they did it both both halves, and so we felt like if they're going to do that, he needs a bigger body uh, in front of him, and that's why we went with Willie. Bradley? Oh, is that me? Or, oh, that's the class. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Um, you guys viewed the game. You Come on. Right. So you mentioned the pregame that Memphis ran a lot of tempo against you guys when, yeah. when typically they don't. Did you notice a change in that tonight that made you do any adjustments? Not before? really. I mean, they tried. You can hear their coach, like, imploring them to push the ball up the floor. It's, it's funny because they never play like that. They, For whatever reason, I think they know they have a size advantage uh, with their guards on our guards, and they think they can get them in the paint. I thought we did a better job in the second half. I thought they were very effective in the first half. I thought in the second half we kept it out of the paint better. Is this last six week, six uh, wins uh, making you think about playoffs? No, I mean, I think about, I thought about playoffs before the season started. <laughs> so I don't think that's changed, you know. Uh, but I don't think about it daily. I think about the next game. You know, that's all we can control, everything else. 
it'll all work out, either good or bad for us, but it'll work out if we do it right.